Her passion is farming fish. Rika Lisa Reinecke is 16 and still at school. Four years ago, she started implementing an aquaponics system on her father's farm in Pretoria, South Africa. It combines conventional aquaculture, like raising fish in tanks, with hydroponics, cultivating plants in water. She started out with a thousand fish. Now her experiment has grown into a business that supplies fish and greens at the same time. The system is two by three meters and it's movable. So you can put it in your backyard or in a rural, rural area. The system can feed about four to six um, people on a regular basis. It can ma make the person um, self-sustainable with fish and vegetables. So it has a high protein and a good value of food. Alternative systems like this one are especially important as South Africa suffers from one of the most severe droughts in its history. Many farmers have lost crops and animals due to the lack of water. We're not getting nowhere near the rainfall we should be getting at this time of, this, uh, of the year, this sort of season. And uh, it's having a devastating effect on the, um, on the, on the water table. Our boreholes are drying up. Uh, one of our things we're going to be doing this week is actually lowering our borehole, trying to uh, get a little bit more water out of it. Um, we have two boreholes that have literally dried up now. Uh, that we can't even use. Aquaponics is a reliable alternative, especially in dry times. Rikaliza uses what she calls a decoupled system in order to save water. It's a simple way to recycle used water back into the system. We send all that water to an effluent tank, a 10,000 litre tank. From there, it's been filtered through the system. The plants absorb all the nutrients. And then after an eight hour cycle, the water is cleaner than what it was in the fish dams. So send, then we send this water back to the fish dams. So this is basically a big, big filter, or in, in natural ways you can say it's a big wetland. Another advantage, you can grow anything, from cucumbers to tomatoes and lettuce. Rikaliza's vision is to roll it out to places where people are poor and water is scarce. So you add water once into the system and only once a week you need to add 25 litres of water and that's that. From there you can have your fish and your vegetables in your backyard and you can sell, sell it to have an income as well. In South Africa, aquaponics is still in its infancy. So far there are more than 190 freshwater and over 30 saltwater aquaculture farms. Officials see a lot of growth potential in aquaponics systems. We have aquaculture awareness campaigns. We also have programs whereby during the awareness campaigns, we actually go and hold the, hold the farmers hand by hand to advise them on how to start an, aqua, an aquaponics farm. We give them step by step advice. I do not think, think that the government has helped us enough, um, especially for young upcoming entrepreneurs who needs funding, who needs financial advice. I don't think I've got enough help and advice from the government in South Africa. With or without government support, Rikaliza Reinecke will continue her business and passion, growing vegetables and farming fish on a big scale.